Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I uh, just wanted to kind of do a little quick review on how to clear a um, P1745 in a uh, Dodge Dakota, especially if you have the 42 RLE transmission. <clears throat> little backstory is I replaced my transmission about two and a half, almost three months ago. I got home and then I had a check engine light come on. So I grabbed a regular scanner, which is one of these. And I'll show pictures of it on the corner, probably up here somewhere. Um, but the main code was a P1745 variable line pressure counter um, too high. So <clears throat> cleared it with that, thought everything was fine. Um, next morning, went to go drop my daughter off at school and it wouldn't shift. It stayed in the first gear, so the transmission went into limp mode. Um, <clears throat> so I was like, well, that's kind of weird. So when I dropped her off, came back to my truck, I did the whole push the gas pedal down with your check engine line or within, within power and then turned it off power, kept my um, gas pedal down and then release. Waited five minutes for the computer to reset, returned it on, cleared all the codes that way. And then when I took off, same thing, check engine popped up, or check engine light popped up again and then still couldn't shift out of first gear. So I was um, limited to 35, 40 miles per hour. So after a couple days of like, what the hell? Never had this problem before. It's a brand new transmission. I do have my VLP connector that's on the back of the transmission. Um, the clip actually, I was trying to find it, but the clip actually broke. So it's not sitting all the way in through, but I bit put dielectric grease and I pressed it as far as I could. So I was thinking, well, maybe that's what's triggering it, but even taking it off and trying to reset it still didn't work. Come to find out that code is a kind of like a permanent code. So it stays into the system just to protect the transmission. <clears throat> so that's when I started doing research to see what I could find um, to clear that code. The first thing I found was a scanner called Vibent. It's like V-I-B-E-N-T. Um, couldn't find anything in the U.S., so I bought one. Um, unfortunately, it looks like it's coming from mainland China, and that's going to probably take about a week to two weeks. I'm like, I can't drive that truck like that. I'm going to do probably some serious damage to the transmission. I just bought the transmission. Um, you know, when you're in first gear and you're going higher, your RPMs go up, so that's putting more strain on the motor. I was like, right, this motor already has 275,000 miles on it. It's like, I don't want to do that. So I emailed a company when I was doing the research for the Viden um, called, let me show you, this one. It's the uh, CG Salty or Solit um, scanner. I saw a bunch of good reviews, but the only issue is when I did my research, I couldn't find any scanner that would say, will clear the VLP code. None of them would say it. The Altel manufacturers didn't say it. This one, Fox. Um, I did see another guy's video was said if you get a bi-directional scanner it should work, but that didn't really help me. <clears throat> I didn't want to drop $150 to $200 on a scanner I'm not going to be able to clear that code for. So I emailed these guys directly I'm like, hey, I was like, this is my problem, can you fix it? So <clears throat> it took them like four days to get back to me, but they did get back to me. They're like, yep, they showed me the screenshot and I'll probably, if I can, I'm gonna put the screenshot in this little corner of what they say or what they said, uh, what they um, what they showed me, right? They said that they can clear that code. Perfect. So these scanners here are um, manufacturer specific. So this one is for Chrysler, Dodge, and Jeep. I believe from 1996 to 2019, which is good because I have a 2018 Dodge Durango. So if anything happens, I can use this scanner on. And oh my God. Like, granted, I'm not a like a actual mechanic. I'm a pharmacy tech by trade, um, so I don't I don't deal with a bunch of scanners. But you know what? I got this scanner. Looks cool. Looks like I'm just a normal scanner. I still got the screen protector on it. The buns feel good. So you get the scanner. You get two cables. So you get your power cable, and then you get your OBT2 cable, right? The back side is kind of, I don't know what kind of plug that is, but it's like the computer plugs. You get your user manual and your carrying case. But, oh my God, like I said, it took 
15 minutes, cleared the coat out, and I've been driving it for the past two days. No issues. No issues at all. Cleared it within seconds. So I don't know why a bunch of, well, I guess it's kind of hard, right? Having the companies list everything they can do, but it would've been nice to like known that right away. And then, cause I literally drove my truck almost a week um, before I got the scanner. And you're like, well, why did you do that? Well, I was waiting for the other company. Well, the other company does have, um, it says ship from the US. So I figured if there's a warehouse in the US that has some, they'll just send it for me from there. No, no, I still haven't gotten shipping confirmation of where, I got shipping confirmation that the, the invoice has been placed but I haven't got a, uh, an actual data when I'll get that in. So it's like, that could be two to three weeks if it's coming from mainland China. So <clears throat> I went with them. I saw a bunch of good reviews with, for like the like a BMW series that's hard, I guess. I guess those scanners are really good. But like I said, these are very manufacturer specific. So if you have a 42 RLE um, transmission, or if it's a Dodge, Jeep, Chrysler, long as it's a 42 RLE, or I think also it's a... Um, Cause that code only gets triggered on two transmissions. I think the other one's like the 61 TE. It's like the, the side transmission and like the journeys, the the minivans. But that thing will clear in a really quick amount of time. So, so yeah. So if you're if you're having issues with your vehicle, or I'm sorry, with a Dodge Chrysler or Jeep with a 42 RLE trouble code P1745, I say get you the scanner. I got lucky this scanner was on sale um i got it through amazon first of all it was 130 bucks um and then it's like 148 after tax so this normally ranges like 160 to 170 i know it's kind of expensive guys but <clears throat> it's a good thing to have it lets you diagnose everything like i was messing around with it and i was able to get it onto all the control modules so i'll I'll put in a video uh, either at the end of this video or in the corner here of me going in through the process because I actually got this like confirmation I was at work. As soon as I got home, it was 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock at night. I put that bad boy in and started clearing the codes. And all that. So I have LED bulbs in my my top light. I mean, it was giving me trouble codes for everything that I've never seen before that. Like, oh, your radio's not plugged in. I took my radio out. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. That's cool. I have a TPMS sensor that's going out. It picked that up. It actually showed me all four. It even showed me that you can change like the pressures on the TPM sensors if you wanted to. <clears throat> Very simple. Like it says, it does a quick scan. Get your VIN, your make, your model. And then you go into either OBD2 or you go into um, another screen to the right, which is like specifically for all the other trouble codes. So I went to that one. Then I went to the power power powertrain control module and then I pulled up all of them on the very bottom it says um what did it say like specialty so it's at the very bottom of the list it's like special events or special services like I said it's gonna be in the video the video doesn't have any um, audio or anything I'll just be trying to get it done really quick and I was holding my phone so sorry about that but at the very bottom it pulls it up and then you go all the way down and sure enough sure as shit it says VLP P, you know, variable line pressure, code counter, reset. So I cleared all those codes. And like I said, it was a fucking God saver. Um, yeah. So if, like I said, if you need to clear that code, you get you one of these. It is kind of expensive. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Um, I'll try to get to them as soon as I can. Um, hopefully this helps somebody. Like I said, I looked online and I couldn't have, I couldn't find anybody. Like I saw guys clearing the codes, um, but they weren't talking about what kind of scanner they use. They're like, like that was my biggest thing is like, do, does every bi-directional scanner work? Because if not, you can get a Fox, which is on Amazon product, which is a lot cheaper, but I don't know if it's gonna actually do that special code. But anyways, so yeah, if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching. See you guys there, bye.